What is going on guys? Today is a very special, special day. Um, we are going to show you the differences between snakes. Uh, I know a few of you, thank you uh, for commenting on the video that I made a few, well actually it was last year. Um, I'll leave the link of it down in the description below. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Um, but a few people have noted that I did not go back and I did not show you the differences between the snakes. Today in this video, we are going to show you the differences between a rat snake, a copperhead, and a water snake. And it starts now. Roll the intro. So it looks like we have a snake right over here. Um, I'm just going to try to sneak up as quiet as I can uh, just to see if I can get him. It looks like he's sunbathing. Um, so uh, keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. All right, all right. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we got him. What, the first snake, like literally the first snake, just sitting there, calm down, calm down. He was just sitting there, right there on that bank. And I walked over, I didn't even see him at first. All right, first snake of the day, well, this snake, oh wow, I didn't even see that at first. This snake, as you can see, his eyes are actually blue. Um, I don't know if you guys know or can see that very well, but that means that this snake is getting ready to shed. So don't be surprised if you see a snake skin in your yard, um, but just be aware, their eyes will turn blue like that right before they start to shed. Now this is just another black snake, uh, as I said before, just like one of the other ones that we've caught in the other video. Um, so he's non-venomous. Now, however, this may be a female, but let me show you the tail and you can actually see the, yeah, look, you see there? The, uh, that's actually the skin is, he's uh, actually starting to shed. Um, or has already started really the color pattern on the belly is actually really similar to that other snake previous video so it just confirms if you ever see a belly of a snake which hopefully you won't this just shows that um, these types of snakes are non-venomous it's just another obvious way to tell uh, now this type of a black snake uh, this is an actual black snake, not a rat snake like we caught before. Um, he's pretty small compared to uh, most other black snakes. Now we'll just go ahead and let him continue throughout his day and we'll keep searching on for water snakes. Okay, so what happened, there was actually two. Ooh, yeah, I know, calm down. There was actually two snakes that were sitting in there. I saw the water, 
splash around and I definitely saw the one sitting here, but I did not see the second one. Let me pick him up and see if I can get him to calm down. With these snakes, it's all about the fight or flight. Um, they just don't want to be, you can see he's kind of starting to calm down a little bit. He's just tasting the air with his tongue, seeing, seeing who we are, if we're going to be a threat to him or uh, if he can just kind of relax. But if you guys watch the copperhead video, you'll know and be able to tell that these snakes um, uh, along, well, not that you should ever be able to tell <laughs> uh, a snake from its belly, um, but uh, if you turn it around and you can see, this camera's got a hard time picking up, there we go, um, this real pretty kind of yellow brownish, oh yeah, hey, yeah, I see you. Um, little diva over here I tell you uh, real kind of yellow belly but it's real spotted pattern real pretty usually copperheads or any kind of other uh, venomous snake will have uh, I mean generally they usually have just a single pattern uh, going down through the bottom of their belly bring it over here into the sun you get a better look at you Oh yeah, he's real pretty. If you'll be able to see or not. I don't know if I can get him zoomed in. Yeah, he's starting to curl around there. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Yeah, he's definitely checking that camera out. It's about striking distance right there. I'm surprised he hasn't hit it yet. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but the pupils on his, on his eyes are actually rounded. Um, just like we talked about in the other video, um, he is, oh, <laughs> there he goes. But the pupils, uh, are definitely rounded, uh, which is a really good indication that he is non-venomous. He's just a little water snake. Um, now there are other species in the United States. Um, only one that I know of, uh, which is the coral snake that actually has a rounded pupil but they're actually one of the most venomous snakes in the world um let alone in the united states but you see this this real distinct banding on the back of his back this is why these snakes are so easily confused with copperheads but but yeah this was a super cool catch uh now we're just going to go ahead and release him and let him go and we'll let him continue on his uh his fishing uh, eating lunch, whatever he was doing. <laughs> Now copperheads love rock shelves like this. They love to come back and get themselves tucked away in all these little nooks and these crannies plopped around up in these rock shelves. Now let's see if we can spot one. Yep, that right there is a copperhead. That is 100% a copperhead. Due to the location where we found this snake, we decided to move him. In case that we found another snake just like him, which we did. There was two of them in the same spot. Now, priority number one is definitely safety right now. He's very poisonous. He's very dangerous. Uh now these, these snakes are capable of striking a third of the length of their body. If I can head him and I'll show you.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I tell you what. Nothing will make you more nervous than catching one of the most venomous snakes in this area. And wow, this guy is absolutely beautiful. Now, I want to have a firm but gentle hold on his head. But looking here, you can see his venom glands and this gives a great indication that I definitely don't want to be tagged by this guy because I'm going to be rushing to the hospital if so. These snakes are some of the most commonly seen species in North America and reported bites are common but it's only because they're stumbled upon because they're not seen because of their great camouflage. On the body of the snake, um, it is a very gorgeous, very pretty snake but it blends right in with the leaves and the underbrush uh, of this area and makes it extremely hard, extremely difficult to find and to see uh, when you're not paying attention, especially uh, you're just out for a hike and the snake sitting, you know, he gives you a little tag. Now this is a beautiful snake and I'm sure you're curious to see his fangs and so am I. So we'll just put this stick in his mouth like this. It's completely fine. And just pull his fangs out. Wow, right there. You can see. These are actually just a set of modified teeth. They're similar to hypodermic needles. That will put you in a world of hurt. Now, when I encounter an animal, I like to make sure that I put it back in the exact same spot where I found it. So, we're just gonna release this guy right now.